for section 5.5 part 2, we are converting to slope intercept form and to standard form. So your essential question is what are the rules for converting equations to standard form? Well, first we're actually going to look at how to convert equations to slope intercept form, which if you remember slope intercept form, let's talk about that. What is the equation for slope intercept form? So slope intercept form is the one we know best, which is y equals mx plus b. So if I want to convert an equation to look like this, first I have to simplify anything that I can. Any distributing or combining like terms, anything like that. Then I need to um, get y by itself because I want y over here alone by itself so that I have y equals mx plus b. And I want to make sure that if I have any fractions that I reduce them if possible. So we're going to practice by converting the following equations to slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b. So let's take a look at this first one. So we have 6x minus 4y equals 12. So remember my steps, I have to simplify. Well, there's nothing really here that I can simplify. And then I need to try to get y by itself. So if I want to get y by itself, what would I do first? What would I need to cancel out? Well, I would need to cancel out the 6x, so I would do that by subtracting 6x from both sides. And so these cancel out, and I'm left with negative 4y equals... And then remember, I want it to look like mx plus b on this side. So I need to write the x part first. So I'm going to write negative 6x plus 12. Because the 6x was negative, <clears throat> and the 12 was positive, so I put a plus in front of it. From here, I still need to get y by itself. So I would divide everything by negative 4. So the negative 4's cancel out, and I get y equals, if I reduce negative 6 over negative 4, that becomes positive 3 halves x, and then 12 divided by negative 4 would be negative 3. So then I'm left with this nice equation where I have y by itself, and this looks like the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. Let's take another look at an equation. This one is a little bit different. This equation is actually in what we call point slope form. We have not um, really discussed that yet, but we can still convert this equation to slope intercept form. So our first step is to simplify. So is there anything that you see that we could possibly simplify? Well, I see that I have parentheses here, so I can distribute this negative 2. So I would have y plus 1 equals negative 2x, and then negative 2 times a negative 3 would be a positive 6. I'm still trying to get my equation to have y by itself. So in order to get y by itself, what would I need to cancel out? I would need to cancel out the 1. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. And so these will cancel out, and I will get y equals negative 2x plus 5. And this would be the equation of my line in slope-intercept form. We have one more. This is kind of similar to what we just did. Um, this time... I'm going to distribute like I did last time to simplify. And I will have y minus 3 equals 2 thirds x. And then I need to take 2 thirds times 9. Well, there's a couple of different ways that you can do this mentally. Um, multiplying fractions is like having a 1 on the bottom of the 9. <clears throat> so then when I multiply fractions, I multiply the numerators together and I multiply the denominators together. So I would get 18 over 3. And if I divide that, I get 6. So I would get plus 6. And then I still need to get y by itself. So then I would add 3 to both sides. 
so that I can cancel this out and get y by itself. And I would have y equals, sorry about that. Erase that really quick so you can see it. So we have y equals 2 thirds x plus 9. And that would be my final answer in slope intercept form. <clears throat> Now for the big question, when we are converting an equation to standard form. So let's think about that. We learned about standard form last time. Standard form looks like AX plus BY equals C. And A, B, and C all have to be integers, which means they are positive or negative whole numbers. Um, also, we always like the value of a to be positive. So when you are converting an equation to standard form, these are the steps that you can follow. Step one is to simplify anything that you can by distributing or combining like terms. Step two is to make sure that x and y are on the same side because if you see standard form right here, we have ax plus by, so x and y are on the same side. Step three is to make sure that a, b, and c are all integers. So we have to cancel out any fractions if there are some. And then the last step is to make sure that the value of a is a positive number. So let's take a look at some examples and we'll try a few of these. So we're going to convert the following to standard form, ax plus by equals c. So I look, I can't simplify anything, but I need to get x and y on the same side. So I have x over here, but I need the y to move over here also. So how would I cancel out the 2y to move it over to the other side? Well, this is a positive 2y. These are added together, so to cancel it out, I'm going to subtract 2y from both sides, and then that will give me 6x minus 2y equals 7. And that is in standard form. I have x and y on the same side. a, b, and c are all integers, and the value of a is positive. So we're finished with this one. So this would be our answer in standard form. All right, let's try another example. Let's say we have 3y equals 5x plus 1. So we can't simplify anything. We need to move x and y on the same side of the equal sign. So I have y over here. I need to move the x over here. So to cancel out the 5x, I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. And then I would have, remember, my standard form looks like ax plus by equals c. So I want the x to come first. So I'm going to have negative 5x plus 3y equals 1. Then I'm finished, right? Well, let's make sure we've got all of our steps. A, B, and C are all integers, but the value of A is not positive. So how can I change the sign of that negative 5 to turn into a positive 5? Well, to change the sign of any number, what would I multiply by? I would multiply by negative 1. So I'm going to multiply this entire equation by negative 1, and then my answer will become positive 5x minus 3y sorry, equals negative 1. And so now a, b, and c are all integers. x and y are on the same side. And the value of a is positive. All right, let's try one more. So for this one here, I have everything on the same side of the equal sign. And this 0 is over here hanging out by itself. So I know that I have to first simplify, but there's nothing I can really simplify. 
I need to make sure that X and Y are on the same side by themselves. So I need to move this negative 2 over to the other side so that X and Y are by themselves together. So to cancel out the negative 2, I would add 2 to both sides. So these would cancel out and I would get negative 3 fourths x plus 1 half y equals 2. The next thing is to make sure that a, b, and c are all integers. But I have these fractions here. So if you remember previously from solving equations, what is the best way to cancel out fractions? I like to multiply by a common denominator. So if we look at our fractions, we have a 4 and a 2. So you can find the least common denominator, or you can multiply the two denominators together to get a common denominator. Um, I feel like it's easiest to use 4 as my common denominator because I could easily change this 2 into a 4. So I'm going to multiply everything in my equation by 4. Now you could also choose to multiply by 8 or some other common denominator. So but first I'm going to multiply by 4. And so then if I take 4 times negative 3 fourths, I'll end up with negative 3x. And then 4 times 1 half y would be 2y. And then 4 times 2 would be 8. So I multiplied all three numbers in my equation by 4 to cancel out the fractions. The last thing I have to do is make sure that the value of a is a positive number. So to change the sign, I'm going to do like I did up here. I'm going to multiply by negative 1. Now we could have multiplied by a negative 4 up here, and that would have done the same thing. But sometimes it's easier to focus on one thing at a time. So if you multiply by negative 4 or negative 8 or something like that up here, that would be acceptable also. So then if I multiply all of these by negative 1, I get positive 3x minus 2y equals negative 8. And that would be my answer in standard form. Now don't forget to write the summary by answering the essential question from the beginning of the notes.